When the Muskegon Lumberjacks return to the ice this fall, there'll be a new yet familiar face behind the bench. The Jacks introducing longtime youth hockey coach and former Lumberjack assistant video coach Mike Hamilton as the team's new top man this week. Mike's primary job last season was to develop players through video analysis and He's got a ton of coaching experience, head coaching experience as well, more than 20 years at the youth hockey level, including uh, stints with Little Caesars and the Honey Bake programs. It, it's a great opportunity for me, and, and like I said, we're looking to try to build upon uh, some of the values that have already been built here and, and, and try to take this to the next level around here. So, Having had a kid who's played here, I mean, uh, John Beeline was in town the other day, and he said the only other place I'd coach was an orphanage because I didn't have to deal with the parents. Yeah. You've obviously been on, on both sides of that. Does it help? Yeah, I know, absolutely. I, I think um, uh, understanding some of the ups and downs um, that a player goes through and, and, and how he deals with situations with coach, I think... Uh, are things that have valued and, and made me a better coach to know how to deal with situations, how to say things uh, that maybe not. So being a parent and being a coach, I think, uh, um, or, or I'm sorry, being a parent is something that I think is valuable and going to go and pay dividends with, with working with guys. So, you mentioned you have a lot of returning guys back too and having worked with them, you know, video-wise and how much has it helped them in you know being comfortable with you? It's not like it's a brand new face and a brand new voice coming into that. Yeah, and, and and like I said, one of the reasons I I was selected for the job was was due to um, the returning guys stepping up and saying, hey, this you've got a value here, and this is a guy you shouldn't look very far. So um, I'm thankful to those guys for speaking highly of me. So it, it does. Uh, it's very important uh, that we have that comfort level, and it's something that's going to help us start start off running um, versus you know getting to know each other face. So. So there's there's definite value there, uh, and that I know what guys can offer. Um, so, like I said, I, I think it'll kind of get us off and running versus having to um, kind of develop relationships. So most guys who come into new jobs are because they didn't do so well. Not only do you have guys back, but they've been fairly successful here, just trying to get to that next level. That opportunity doesn't exist a lot for new coaches. Yeah, correct. I'm I'm uh, lucky to come into a team that's got uh, some returners, and and like I said, it's finding now the the pieces to help us. Uh, uh, get some more pucks in the back of the net and, and grow uh, with what we have. To. Just the opportunity to get behind the bench. I know you've done it obviously at the youth level. At this level, how excited are you about that chance? Uh, definitely. I mean, it's, it's great to get the opportunity. Um, they definitely uh, um, maybe went outside the box a little bit with the hire here, and, and I think it's happening at all levels where people are giving guys opportunities uh, to jump right from college now to the NHL. And it's the same thing. Um, there's been a couple of guys that have moved from the youth level in the last few years right to the USA children have had success at it so I hope to, to have that same success over my 24 years here I covered a lot of hockey here when the pro teams were here the fury uh, what is it about trying to get fans to come out and you know support a USHL team as opposed to when they had you know the Colonial League or the United League teams here yeah I think um, you know it's something where we're, we're doing a good job but we got to do a better job of getting out in the community and explaining more about what the game's about here um, but at the end of it I, I think a lot of it is just getting over the, uh, the, the the pro hockey days and having them understanding more what the USHL is and, and the value of it. So. And you said your team, you focus obviously on the grittier side, the defensive side, and that's maybe what this group is lacking because you've, you've had scoring punch here. Yeah, I mean, it's something that we, we know it's an area we have to address. Um, but again, I, I believe in, in making plays. I believe in, in having high-end players uh, scoring some, some nice goals. But again, um, I do think that adding grit um, to our defensive side of the game is something that will help us and add dividends.